Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy GSC Diamond. We are back with another Colts Talk video. This is episode number seven. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to hop right into the video. This video, we are going to be talking about week one of the regular season going up against the Los Angeles Rams. And boy, was it a bloody show out, shootout, I should say, there. I mean, it wasn't even a shootout. It was more like it was a death wish we had coming at the beginning. Um, I'm gonna hop right into it. We lost 46 to nine. Uh, it was a very bad game on our hand. Nothing but fumbles, interceptions, pick sixes actually, and missed field goals. Missed field goals by shockingly the one and only Adam and Terry. First of all, with Adam and Terry's missing field goals, you know it's a problem. Um, but I'm gonna hop right into it. Uh, in the first quarter, they made a 50-yard field goal. Which was a bad time. It makes they start the game off with a 50-yard field goal. That's very bad. Then later on the drive, Scott Tolson throws a pick six to Trumaine Johnson for 39 yards, and then they wind up kicking a field goal there. Uh, we wind up getting on the board with three. You know, I was a little excited. I was like, okay, we got three points. It's good. Vinatieri kicked a 20-yard field goal, so I was like, okay, we, we good. We straight. Then we go into the second quarter, and Todd Gurley rushes for five yards. He gets a touchdown off of that. Now the score is three to 17. I'm not panicking yet. You know, it's still the first half. I'm like, it's all good. We're just a little rusty. I'm still having my faith in Scott Tolson now. I still have it. So we're still moving on. Then later on, the Rams get the ball back after another fourth and out. And Jared Goff throws an 18-yard pass to uh, Cup, their wide receiver, Cooper Cup. Yep. 18-yard uh, touchdown. And now the score is 24-3. Okay, so now I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm starting to rub my hands, you know, get a little worried. At the end of the second quarter, the end of the first half, they go for a 35-yard field goal. Now the score is 3-27. So I'm like, okay. In my head, you know, I'm thinking the coach management, coaches, you know, they'd be smart. Be like, all right, let's give another quarterback a chance. Like, you know, the guy, Stephen Morris, that did pretty good in preseason. Yeah, sure. Or, you know, they can be really smart and go for Jacoby Brissett, the guy that they traded for in the – uh in the preseason, traded for a backup quarterback that has experience, that played for the Patriots, that had a pretty good preseason, and that did pretty good when Brady was out. Yeah, let's put him in. What do we do? No, we keep him Scott Tulsa. So I was like, okay, great. This is just perfect. So, in the third quarter goes along. They go get the ball back. Well, they do get the ball, and they kick a field goal, 44 yards. Now the score is 3-30 to to the Los Angeles Rams. Now, notice in my last video, we, I was bragging about them not having Aaron Donald because of the contract holdout and everything, but they got that all signed. They got that all pieced off now. They had a peace treaty and everything, a tea party. And now Aaron Donald is likely to come back in a few weeks. I mean, he was out for this week, but he's been training and everything. So I was kind of hoping that him holding out would, you know, kind of defuse the defense and, you know, that we could have a little advantage. But no, they still beat the crap out of us. But I'm going to keep going. Um, it gets worse. Later on in the drive, another interception is thrown by Scott Tolson, which is another pick six. And this one was from LaMarcus Joyner. It was 29 yards. So now, now that I see the pick six, of course my, my phone is thrown across the room. I'm raging. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like panicking. I bragged about this game all week and how we were going to beat the Rams, how they trash, da 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 So the Madden Gods was watching me. I blame the Madden guys. They was watching me. Not Madden guys. The football guys. Excuse me. I have a little problem with Madden too. But the football guys was watching me. So it was just like, mm-hmm, keep talking. We're going we gonna to expose. Mm-hmm, keep talking. They're going to get me good. It gets worse from there. So, we're going to go ahead to the fourth quarter. So, Marlon Mack went in for a three-yard rush. And at this point, they took out... Scott Tolson, finally, in the fourth quarter when nothing matters, they took him out. The score is 37 to 3. When they took him out, Jacob Brissett comes in. I'm like, ah, it's not a relief. Because I swear I couldn't see Scott Tolson in another quarter. I was going to freak out. So when they took him out, good things start happening. Marlon Mack goes for a three-yard rush. I mean, it's not that good. Because Adam Vinatieri missed the field goal in the fourth quarter. Wide right. Wide right. I was like, okay, whatever. So later on in the drive, we get the ball again. Marlon Mack loses the ball, fumbles, it goes back into the end zone, loss of 10, and we get a safety. So now the score is now 39-9. to And to make things worse, they score again off a three-yard rush from Malcolm Brown, and the score ended with 46-9. to So this game was very bad on the 
on the offense and defensive hand. We couldn't get any stops. We just couldn't do anything. Quincy Wilson, he was just rusty. Uh, you couldn't really see Malik Hooker in the game. Uh, the corners was just, it was just all around a bad game. We couldn't do anything on either side. We really need our leader in Andrew Luck, which brings me to my next point. After this, I bring, I'll bring. i talk about Andrew Luck after this, but um, I'm just going to call out a few stats. Scott Tolson. I'm going to go on his stats. 9 for 18. Yeah, not bad. 128 yards. Yeah, not bad. No touchdowns. Yeah, suspect. Two interceptions. Pick sixes. Very suspect. He had four sacks. He got sacked four times for 29 yards. 29-yard loss. That's how many yards he lost in the four sacks. Quarterback rating, 33.8. That is bad. This is the guy that they go for. You have the OTAs show you that he's better than Jacob Brissett and Stephen Morris. He didn't even go up against Jacob Brissett. And what would make you think this guy has the chance to be our starting quarterback? He had too many chances. His chances are over. Go with Stephen Morris from Miami that had a hell of a preseason. Or go for Jacob Brissett, the guy we traded for in the preseason because we needed a quarterback. That makes no sense. Jacob Brissett came in 2 for 3, 51 yards. He came in and went on an 80-yard drive. Once he came in the game, it was an 80-yard drive, and we scored. If he was in the whole game, we probably would have had a better advantage, and we wouldn't have had the Rams score the most points in history in three years. This is the most points they scored in three years total. That's embarrassing. Jacoby never got sacked, and his quarterback rating was 109.7. That is very bad, bro. Like... My heart is just hurt off of this deficit and this loss that we just took from the Los Angeles Rams that probably won't never win a game in, in, in this whole the rest of the year. I'm just going to bring up this tweet. Coast coverage. Shout out, to, shout out to you guys. Wow, just wow. Zach Keffer said, most points in the Rams have scored in three years. Most points in the Colts have ever allowed in a season opener. That's bad. Then you have them tweeting stuff like, let's see how many fans agree. Retweet this and... This should be Pagano's last game as the head coach of the Colts. Completely unacceptable. You can't have that on your head, bro. That's not good. Chuck, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Chuck Pagano. I just, I'm just hurt, man. This, this game, this game got me good because I don't even want to watch football no more. I just want to wait until Andrew Luck come back. And speaking of Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck um, expecting to come back by week three. It's official. Uh, that it came out this morning that uh, Andrew Luck is definitely not suitable to come back week two. But week three, he will come back against the Cleveland Browns. Now, that's not bad. I mean, I could take that for him coming back against the Cleveland Browns because the Cleveland Browns are, you know, I'm not going to talk. They're just a little suspect. I ain't going to talk about them because, you know, the Madden guys are still watching. Foot, football guys. I don't know why I keep saying Madden. But anyways... Um, I'd like to thank you guys for coming through. I'm looking forward towards week three. I can't take this no more. This game was very depressing. It was just a very bad game. I, I couldn't I couldn't take this anymore, man. But um, in my opinion, if we can do anything, get rid of Scott Talton. Please. Management, get rid of this guy. Because you know who we play next week? We play the Arizona Cardinals. Sunday, September 17th. Be there. Be square. I mean, the, t- the road gets tough. It gets tough for us, man. We got the Cardinals, Browns. It's not bad. Seahawks. Oh, then we got two division games back-to-back. Bengals, full shape and full form. Then the Houston Texans. I believe we're going to lose at least half of our division games. Because this is it. If they don't make a change now, it's going to get bad on our behalf, man. But, um, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the next vid before, I believe, the next vid will drop Saturday. I will drop a vid on a Friday or Saturday to talk about the injury statuses and uh, about the game against the Cardinals. So you guys tune in. Thank you guys for watching this vid. Like, comment, subscribe. Pray for the coach, y'all. Hashtag pray for the coach in the comment section if you got this far. And let me know. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Scott Tawson. Boy, I tried to warn y'all.